What is up you guys? So YouTube kept recommending this video to me. It was like the differences between American and Swedish girls. And I didn't click on it the first few times, but it kept getting recommended. And usually when YouTube recommends a video over and over again to me, I figure, all right, it's gotta be a pretty good video. So I finally clicked on it and it wasn't really what I expected. It was like this dating guru coach expert guy and I'm like, whoa, this is creepy. Maybe YouTube knows that I'm single now. Maybe they saw my breakup video and they're like, oh, here's a single American dude in Europe. Let's give him tips about how to pick up European girls. Uh, so aside from that being like an odd twist, uh, it was like this guy talking about his uh, crew of American dudes that went over to Sweden and they tried to run their game or whatever on Swedish girls and it didn't work at all when they first came here and they realized like, wow, there are a lot of differences actually between American and Swedish girls. And actually when he started to describe what these differences are, it started to make a lot of sense to me. And this guy actually had a lot of interesting insights about the two cultures. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about some of the things that he discusses and add some of my own thoughts to it and maybe offer some insights to you guys about the differences between American and Swedish girls. So the thing about American girls is they were raised in the United States. And I'm gonna overgeneralize a little bit, but the United States has a particular culture about it. It has this like pioneer, rugged individual culture. And there are people that are legitimately orders of magnitude more successful than others. As such, American girls respond very, very strongly to signs of status. They respond to showing that you've made it in the world. They respond to ambition. They actually respond to a little bit of cockiness. So what this guy is saying here is actually super interesting to me and I think it goes to show a lot about the differences in the cultures between Sweden and America. America is a society that's extremely capitalistic and almost has that like everybody for themselves mentality whereas Sweden is very, very socialistic and everybody's kind of equal and the same. And so in America, there's huge differences between people that make it and are successful and make it to the top versus the people that aren't so successful. And so girls in America, having been raised in that culture, are more attracted to signs of success. So if a guy is extremely confident or maybe even a little bit cocky, they might be drawn to that uh, whereas if somebody comes in with that attitude into Sweden, the Swedish girls are gonna be extremely confused. Like, why is this guy so confident? Why does he think he's so special? It kind of goes back to that whole like Jan Telagen video that I made where you're not supposed to think that you're anything special here in Sweden because there is a lot more of those sentiments of equality and everybody being the same, whereas in America, because it is such a capitalistic society, there are huge differences between the top and the bottom, and then those girls want to be with the guys who are more successful. Sweden in particular is very much more economically and especially politically and philosophically socialist than the United States. It's much harder there to be extremely wealthy. It's also much, much harder to be extremely unwealthy. There's a lot more clustering towards the center. And we're going in being like brash and cocky and saying I'm the shit, conveying this like American celebrity swagger, and the Swedish girls are like, you're full of shit, or I don't care because I'm used to a value system in which I care a lot more about comfort. I care a lot more about spending time getting to know the guy. So I think it's really important to remember that what we are saying in this video are complete generalizations. Like of course there's all different kinds of girls in Sweden and there's all different kinds of girls in America. But I think in general, because there are such economic differences between people in America, in Sweden, the playing field is much more level and there can be more of a focus on that genuine connection and personality and all of those things things when it comes to dating and relationships, which I think is actually really, really nice. While I was doing the research for this video, I stumbled across another Swedish girls video where this prankster named Adrian G or something from Australia, I think he goes around and does like street pranks. You guys have seen these kinds of videos before, but I was really curious to see how this prankster guy was going to interact with Swedish girls and he was going to ask them if they prefer muscular or skinny guys. And the answers in this video pretty much sums up uh, Swedish girls as a whole. What are your thoughts on skinny guys? I mean, all bodies are good bodies. I okay. don't really care. Like, skinny, like muscular, overweight, like, I don't care. But I want someone who's funny, who, uh, like, is very open. Mm -hmm. You can talk to about anything. You know, it's more about personality than anything, I think. What do you look for in a guy, Vilma? Um, personality. What do you think about skinny guys? If he was skinny, would it matter? No, not really. Not really? No. So he'd have the same chance uh, as opposed to like a, a guy with 
big muscles or like, yeah. Yeah, I think so. If he has a great personality. So watching this video was really, really funny to me because this guy for 10 minutes went on and on asking these Swedish girls these surface level questions and time and time again, they were just confused by the questions like, what do you mean? Like, it's all about personality. Do they have a connection? Are they honest? Are they genuine? And you could really see the types of things that these Swedish girls were interested in throughout the entire video. Pretty much every response he got was along these lines. And I think that says a lot about Swedish girls as a whole. When they're looking for a guy or somebody to be with, they really are going after those characteristics that are more genuine and based on personality. And I think that reinforces even more the points that I was making earlier in this video. So all in all, the thing that I love most about Sweden are the people in this country. I've talked about this in many videos and doing this video, I think made me realize that even more that the people here are just absolutely amazing and I think they care about the right things. And I think being in a country that is just a little bit more socialist than where I grew up, it is really nice because everybody kind of has that same chance. I mean, there's not a huge difference between the people that are extremely successful and the people that haven't made it. In general, people are really, really well taken care of and it allows people to focus on the things that really matter. But with that being said, I'm really curious if you guys have any comments or have noticed similar things. So leave those comments down below. I think it'll be a really interesting discussion and this topic was a really interesting one for me. So with that being said, I'm gonna sign off for today. Hopefully I'll see you again in the next video.